So the respiratory system continued, we will look in more in depth at sleep apnea. Another very common condition we see is sleep apnea. Uh, sleep apnea can happen in children, but it's more common in older adults. This is a chronic disorder as well as asthma is a chronic disorder, um, meaning that it usually lasts for years and years. And um, this occurs, um, the episodes that occur with sleep apnea may last for several seconds or minutes, uh, which is actually a cessation uh, of breathing. So you stop breathing during your sleep and it may differ in the frequency with which they are experienced. They, um, sleep apnea can have many different symptoms, including that of fatigue, uh, evening napping, irritability, memory problems, morning headaches. Uh, in addition, many individuals with sleep apnea experience a very dry throat in the morning after waking from sleep, which may be due to excessive snoring. And we see here in the picture that the normal airway allows air to flow in and out of the respiratory system just fine, but when you have sleep apnea, the uh, airflow is blocked. Obstructive sleep apnea occurs when there's actually something blocking the airway during the sleep. It can occur at different points in the airway, such as the tongue or throat muscles may relax too much or excessively, and this causes the muscles to push on the airway that obstructs the airflow, as we see in this picture here. Obesity is also a risk factor for sleep apnea because of the, the extra fat tissue on the neck region. It presses down when someone is laying flat and it actually pushes the tissue um, towards the lumen of the airway, causing it to narrow. In central sleep apnea, we see another effect that's taking place here, and that has to do with the brain, the respiratory centers of the brain. They are not responding to rising carbon dioxide levels. They are not being stimulated to contract the diaphragm or the muscles to take in a breath, and breathing does not occur in that way and it also stops for a short period of time just like in obstructive sleep apnea. These causes may also contribute to central sleep apnea because stroke and congestive heart failure um, may cause damage to the pons of the medulla oblongata in the brain, which triggers our respiratory effects for us to breathe. Also, we have medicines that relax or suppress the respiratory centers of the brain, and this includes opioids such as morphine, and this causes a decrease in respiratory rate as well. That's why we have a lot of deaths with um, opioid addiction or overdoses because it suppresses the breathing center in the brain to tell you to breathe. Now here in this picture is an in-depth look of how the mandula in the brain triggers us to breathe. The diagnosis of sleep apnea occurs through a sleep study. I think now they're even allowing them to go home with a machine as we've advanced in technology, but this machine will monitor and record the amount of oxygen, the, the heart rate, the respiratory rate, blood pressure, brain activity, volume of air that's inhaled and exhaled, so that this can both diagnose obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea. So the usual treatment of sleep apnea, whether it's obstructive or central, would be um, a CPAP machine, and this gently forces air into the nose and the mouth um, and it allows for normal ventilation to occur. But of course, to get to the root of the cause of the disease, we have to look at what's actually causing or how can we fix the root cause of this. 
So other treatments would include lifestyle changes to just decrease weight, as we saw in the obstructive sleep apnea. Obesity plays an effect on sleep apnea. We need to eliminate alcohol or any other drugs, such as opioids, that may be causing a suppression of breathing. Maybe we could change the sleep position. So instead of sleeping on your back where your neck tissue narrows your airway, you may want to sleep on your side. Also, um, supplemental oxygen may be used during sleep to give a boost in the oxygen saturation of the body. And here we see um, the CPAP machine in the picture that's so commonly used.